secrets turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Team Secret versus eHomer. It's a two-game series. Once again, of course, the group stage is here at TI6. I'm OD. I'm joined by Draskal for this one. And we have the big boys, old Levin, old Lan and Fenrir, Ice Ice Ice, old Chicken, ready to bash heads against the uh, the boys from uh, well, from EU and US, really. Puppy, MV, Bulba, Pylai, Dai, RTZ, they're all ready to go. The draft is underway. The bands are coming out thick and fast. Naga and Undyne taken away from eHome. And in response, eHome take away Huskar and Io from Secret. And uh, we did see some ice, ice, ice Naga yesterday. I'm a little bit happy to see it banned. You know, obviously it's impressive to watch, but uh, at the end of the day, it's still a Naga, Andy. It doesn't make for the most exciting Dota no. games, I think, is what we're trying to get at here. So, Team Secret, obviously, doing their homework, mm -hmm. seeing Ehome's performance on the hero uh, yesterday. He literally and... didn't die yesterday, did he, on the Naga? He did not. He didn't die. No. Yeah, not even one it's... game. So, yeah. at least the ones that we saw. Maybe he played it in another match that we didn't get an opportunity to cast, and maybe maybe he dropped there. But Ehome, of course, also doing the respect ban thing, taking out the Huskar. Secret got it three games in a row, won all three games. Interesting to note that both these teams are currently 3-1. So we were talking about in Group A how the games are starting to matter a bit more. It's it's almost getting to that stage here. Obviously, you know, Group B hasn't played as many matches because it's the group that starts later off in the day. But still, if you can get yourself secured into that top four spot in the group, you're going to be pretty happy with yourself. So opening up here, Team Secret, they're going to take the Shadow Demon. I mean, it really gives no information whatsoever. Just It's, it's a Shadow Demon. It's a good hero. It really is. can literally um, run anything you want with it. It's just It's just good. And it's uh, did it e home? I wonder how big of the fans there of the ogre because we've often seen like ogre dude, openings. What when... dude? What are you on about? Oh, Lan, he he loves yeah, it. Nah. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just I saying, I didn't. Um, he is like a massive. Did they did they play at one of the games? Secrets. We do know he also loves the. They, they were doing it in like all of the um, wild card games at least. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the wild card. Yeah, kept yeah, running you're right, around, clobbering right, right. people with the ogre. Yeah, but yeah, it looks like he won't do this game. Yeah, Kunkas out. Well, if you don't pick him Ogre, you pick him Kanka. Ah. Because that's the hero that he probably... I wonder if there's like a... I'm sure there's a stat on how many times he's played this hero on a support role in comparison to other players. He has to be like by far the most uh, most Kanka played hero of any support role. So he's obviously very good at it. He's even gone as far as to just decide from a game to game basis whether or not he wants to skill X. He just sometimes doesn't get it. He's like, whatever. I'm just going to hit my torrent. I'm going to hit... Every single time, don't need X, just gonna hit the torrent into the boat, no big deal. He goes for um, armlet normally when he plays support Kanka as well. It's very interesting stuff. No, I don't think a single other player does that besides him. Yeah, he, go, yeah, well, he goes straight up. Yeah, he, said, he? he just yeah, makes the armlet. He farms his armlet. Team Secret. What do we want to do with the SD? Elder Titan's still there, of course. Uh, something that would uh, work as well very nicely with Ehome's lineup. Be nice for a secret in terms of working together with the Shadow Demon. It's a pretty setup. strong support pairing, but the the problem with it is, I think, is that you actually want them to be together for it to be useful. Okay. Or you want to pick the other Titan when you know you're going to get some kind of wombo combo, like perhaps a, a Void, for example. You know, whether uh, Envy or Bulba want to play that hero. I think most of the time when Team Secret pick Void, it's actually Envy who plays it, right? Or do they switch it off depending on the game? I mean, Boba Void can't be good. <laughs> Did you just say it can't be good? I said can. <laughs> oh, I was like, that's some Boba heavy play <laughs> There's no way. No, I said good. it can be good. Boba's great on the playmakers. Yeah, but no, I think the Elder Titan is more of a synergy hero. Yeah. Okay. Um, more often than anything else. And when you already see the opening of the Marana and the Kunkka, you just see like the X and a Torrent followed up with an arrow, and there's just so much potential on the map already for Ehome to make moves. Elder Titan is just better in situations where you can like trade a couple of hits, sure, but you want really something else during team fights that you want to set it up with with the Earth Splitter and the Stomps. So, bands rolling out here. Dro and Luna both taken away. It looks like Ehome a little bit scared of the five man Dota coming out from the side of Secret, and they are known uh, draw pickers for sure. Yep. And of course, uh, Luna, something that we've seen a lot of teams pick up with the Shadow Demon. It's, I guess, it's something you've always got to be scared of. As you said, just for that sieging potential. Yeah, we got some Batrider protection banning here, taking out the Nyx. It's actually, um, that hero is, is becoming more and more popular just in terms of bans because of the 
ambiguity of the laning phase and just everyone's fighting so freaking early that just having the stun and the mana burn with a carapace early on can still be very disruptive. Whereas before on the last couple of patches, Nyx was that hero that you just couldn't really find space for because he didn't really get enough out of his lane most of the time to be able to contribute in any way. So Oracle Ban going to be next in line. Uh, obvious reasons, Batrider not really so hot against the Oracle. Two spells that completely shut him down, Fates Edict and the False Promise. So Puppy doing the standard, I'm just going to ban the counters to my hero more than worry about like the overall strategy and just allow the player's individual skill to shine, which I feel does fit their lineup fairly well. Yeah, and I think it was uh, it was in the uh, series, wasn't it, uh, between what Alliance and Wings, where I think we saw S4 playing the bat, and then indeed Wings had like the Oracle and the Nyx Assassin, and it's dude, it's so it annoying. Is, it's not worth playing against. It it really isn't. It's it's absolutely you know game winning for the side that grabs them, and uh, especially a team like E Home that's going to be able to play very nicely as a team and utilize here as like an Oracle to come out on top of those team fights and save the cause. Taking the jug now, E Home. Very stable pick. pick. I guess it's kind of obvious now what the lanes are going to be, though, to a degree. Unless Ehome decide at the last minute they want to go like some aggro lane or something, which has yet to be seen because we don't know what the other support is from Secret and we don't know what the safe lane is going to be looking like. All we know is that a lot of heroes that Evie likes to play are taken out of the pool. So the Huskar, the Dro, the Luna. The thing about Jug is most of the time nowadays, uh, barring the Navi series where they decided to switch it up at the last second and put him safe lane, majority of the time it's mid. And then you just get the bottle early, you get your poor man shield pulled to you, you push ways out with the, uh, with the spin. And if they were anticipating, because Envy's played bat so far here at TI, correct? He did play bat at least one game. No, I wanna, yeah. So, I mean, there's so many games going on as Husky yeah, track. I guess there is a possibility that it could just be um, bat mid, but it, it just allows you to have this hero that's very hard to gank. Benefits a lot from levels. Like Juggernaut as a core, you want a max spin, you want max healing ward, you want Omni level 2, like bare minimum. So the hero just benefits so much from being able to go to a to a solo lane. So really, really solid opening here from Ehome. Not really any glaring weaknesses, just strong heroes. I go with the out of time. Right, they're going to get the ET. I mean, it's... I think it's good. I mean, as you pointed out, there are reasons for not picking it. But the synergy is there. You know, you grab someone with a disruption, you, you grab someone with a lasso, and, and suddenly, you know, Puppy's going to be raining down a whole world of pain on top of you. Yeah. I think the main reason um, is that you don't want to pick both supports at the same time. Okay, yes. You know what I mean? You, you, didn't it, it shows, it. you didn't want to open with it. Yeah, it shows what you're capable of doing in regards yeah. to rotations at an early stage, and that's why you just you get the bat because it's a core. You know, it's it's the same thing with Ehome. They opened up core support. Secret opened up core support. It's it's pretty much the same same ideology. But Ehome looking at some kind of counter here now. I don't know if we're going to be expecting anything like a void out of Secret. Oh but, ah, yeah, the e -home special. We saw this respect ban against Ehome the other day. Dude, there's been a lot of teams banning it out against Ehome. It's it is yeah, absolutely their bread and butter. Bringing out the warlock. And, uh, I mean, this, of course, though, is something that teams are aware that Ehome do. And you would imagine the puppy, he must have a plan. I'm sure he does. The man always has a plan. Five seconds remaining. I mean, I think Owen, pretty much every captain has a plan. It's just, <laughs> it's just that most of the time, time, you know, your plan might not necessarily be the best plan against what the enemy team's doing. And sometimes you deviate because maybe the enemy's plan is the counter to yours. And then at the last second, you're like, oh, got to actually change it up a bit. But yeah. Secret now, like you mentioned, the Batrider and the Elder Titan combination can be a thing. You know, the, the natural... Is it natural order? Yeah, it's natural order. Natural I, order. I always mix up the spell names. But that with Batrider damage and just being able to throw out an Earth Splitter onto a lasso is obviously a very strong combination. We're going to see the morph. So that's your Shadow Demon pairing. Obviously, the draw and the Luna were banned out. So this is one of the next best things that you can get your hands on. Very, very hard hero to kill. However, it does kind of say that Ehome are going to have an advantage in how quickly they can play the game. Like, the pace of Ehome's lineup is a little bit faster than what Secret have right now. They have Juggernaut, who's very capable of fighting. Warlock, once he gets six, you got the Rock, you got Fatal Bonds, you got Healing, you know, even Upheaval if he wants to go for that. I'm not sure how they're going to skill it for this particular game. And then, you know, Kakamurana can clearly fight at a very early stage. So, Alchemist, last ban here from Ehome, and, and rightfully so. I think they would actually have a pretty hard time uh, pressuring the Alchemist directly because their heroes are not necessarily good at hitting towers. They're really just good at strong lanes. 
So like Jugga's good in lane, Warlock's good in lane, Mirana's pretty okay, and Kunk is obviously great when to start getting the rotations out, but they can't really address a hero that's just going to get ridiculous amounts of GPM, and against an Elder Titan who can also slow down pushes with the Bat Rider and the Shadow Demon. The, the late game potential just seems a little bit too scary right now for Ehom, because as it stands right now, we're assuming what, Juggernaut, Mirana core? Yeah, or I, I guess they, I, they could always go core Warlock, but They I, could put Warlock mid. But I don't know if they're going to. You think it's much more likely this just Marana mid, yeah? Well, Marana or Jug. Yeah, oh, or Jug, so, of course, yeah. No, I mean, I guess that's it's the interchangeable. Thing right? They can indeed, yeah. Decide what they want to do after they've seen Secret's final pick, and it's going to be a slaughter for Secret. I like it. I like it a lot. And that is, uh, it was going to be what, the Bulba slaughter? Uh, I think it's Bulba. Wait. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it is. I'm interested to see what this. Or it's going to be Envy, Slardar, and Artur, Morphling, and then um, Bat Rider. Easy Wolf? All right. I think so. Because I don't know about. Um, I think Bulba's bat's probably better than Envy's. And I think that Envy's probably better on Slardar than Bulba. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, it's another one of those things that's interchangeable. It just depends on who feels more comfortable on the hero. I was going to be surely Envy's better on Morphling than RTZ. You think so? I think they're both probably about the same. You reckon? Yeah, okay. I think so. They're both yeah. farmers, though, and they did, they're just going to hit creeps. It's not like Morphling has some crazy high skill cap. <laughs> it's not like watching Mushi play Invoker. It's if true. Winter was here, he would understand that flame. But yeah, it's it's one of those things where you look at the lineup and you just think to yourself, okay, it, regardless of what player, they're both very well-versed on the hero. It just depends on what they're feeling at that given point. Ten seconds. I'll see you Aheim. I think Ehome are in a bit of a pinch right now, to be honest. Nice. I think the Morph and the Slarder are really, really nice additions to the rest of what Secret have. And uh, the Night Stalker is going to be the choice. So another hero that's going to really pressure the map. And it looks like it actually is going to be the, the Envy Bat. It's, uh, it's going to be, be the RTZ Morph. Yeah, it's not going to be the... Um, the so they're switching it up a little bit, but yeah, we are going to see Artur Morph. The Night Stalker is... Uh, a pretty good solution to being able to run at Shadow Demon and Elder Titan because you can very easily like interrupt Elder Titan's cast time with Void. You can control the map. It's really good against Bat Rider during nighttime. You can restrict his vision. You can force the advantage because now Ehome are feeling like, okay, we don't necessarily want to take this to the late game because, you know, Slardar is going to eventually get some farm. Morphling is devastating during the late game, especially with Shadow Demon Illusions to partner with that. And ET Aura actually does kind of destroy Juggernaut and Marana. And not only that, but you also have Amplify Damage Ten on top of it. Remaining. Yeah, so, Hero's going to melt. Yeah, the, the physical damage output on the side of Team Secret is just insane. Remaining. So Ehome definitely under the gun here. They want to pressure, they want to win their lanes, and just snowball as hard as they can. Oh, let's go. Quick predictions out of the way. Number of Roshan kills. Three. Oh, yes. Magical damage for 25 minutes. Oh, oh they switched back, by the way. It is Bulba Bat. It is Bulba Bat, yes. Yeah, so it's Envy Slard. Ah, okay, so you were... So I was, I was correct. You were Gucci. Because I was thinking to myself, Bulba definitely has played more Bat Rider than Envy. And that's the type of hero where you want an experienced player. Not to say that Envy can't learn it, it's just that he's never really had to play the hero in the past until recently. So he's got the, the experience on his side. We'll see how this one goes down, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ourselves into game one between Ehome and Secret. Over on the side of Ehome, Femre will indeed be the support. Warlock helping out Ice 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 in lane on the carry juggernaut. Old Chicken moving around the map at the moment, but we will indeed see him go on the mid lane Marana. Old Lanham down towards the bottom. He'll be walking around on the support Kunkra, and it is going to be the core old 11 at Night Stalker down on this bottom lane. Over on the side is Secret Puppy. Grabs himself the Elder Titan, Pylite dies, Shadow Demon, the Artorfling, and MV Slaughter finally rounding up the draft will be the Bulba Batrider. And so we're going to be seeing heading up to the top lane. Um, so lane-wise, I guess between these two sides, there's no one that's going to be necessarily going aggressive trialing, and it is just going to be both safe lanes farming. More or less, yeah. The interesting thing is, Old Eleven actually starts with items that, you know, he's not going to Iron Talon jungle. He wants to stay in a lane. He wants to make the supports from Secret, at the very least, focus some attention on the safe lane. So maybe, you know, he wants Fenrir to play a little bit more greedy, because Warlock's not a ganking hero, right? He's just going to sit there and get pulls. So by forcing the enemy team to stay in lane with their supports and pulling on your own support, you actually get more out of your off lane in that regard. So it's, it's a nice idea. I think they might actually send one extra hero down, like maybe Lanham chills there for a bit. Maybe after a while, Fenrir decides, hey, maybe I want to come down here too, but most likely I think he's just going to be the one soaking up the EXP from the pulls. Let's see, yeah. Uh, 
See how this mid lane goes down. So RTZ on the morph, farming up against Old Chicken. Pilot dies there already, just been an absolute nuisance. This is gonna hurt if he lets it stack more. It's already at four. Yeah, it looks like Pilot Die is gonna eventually be forced back, but. Understandably so, having him help out this lane, because Morphling in the beginning, his attack range just isn't really that good, and Old Chicken would normally just be able to punch him. He just gets so much free damage. The other thing to note is that because of the fact that there's a Warlock support in the game as Puppy, gonna dodge a Torrent here bottom lane. It's pretty close to going down there. I was but, making a bit of an attempt, but... This lane is getting pressured very hard for yeah. me, home. Like, Envy is not gonna be able to really get any free farm, or might even be, like, less than 50% lane CS, which is not a good thing. But, you know, on the flip side, Bulb is probably never going to die in this lane, because it's a Warlock support, and it's a joke. So, he flies away from any gank. It's both teams just denying themselves to neutrals here, making quicker trips back to the base. I mean, in terms of, obviously, this lane at the top, as you said, Bulba, he's going to have a fine time. I, and he's not going to be able to kill the Juggernaut. I no, mean, how, no. How much is Ice Ice Ice's farm going to be slowed down, or is the Jug still going to... He's going to find a free lane. It's not really that Bulba's going to be able to, um, like, stop him from farming. It's yeah. more just that he will always be able to get full EXP from this lane if he's in the right spot, because they just can't kill him. It's not that he's going to get free farm, it's just he'll get a ton of EXP. And that's enough to go back into the woods and maybe go for some jungle stacks if Puppy or Pilot Eye are able to make any farm. I can see Puppy was in the jungle. Old Levin just chasing him around a bit on the Night Stalker trying to assert his dominance. The mid lane matchup. I and mean, as you said, thanks to the help of Pilot Eye at the start, it's really cemented RTZ in a very strong position. 15 for 8 against Old Chicken's 4 for 0. It's an absolute wash the mid lane. Favoring uh, uh, RTZ, of course. I mean, the base damage difference in the Morphling versus the Marana is massive. Like 83 versus 58. It's, it's not even close. This is why Marana is often not viewed as a lane dominating hero, because her base damage is just, it's pooped here. It's just not good. So Old Chicken definitely struggling. Uh, the nice thing is once he gets his bottle and a few more levels, he can just use Star Storm to farm. And that's where you kind of get your recovery is. Fenrir? He's got four stacks of Napalm. Are they going deep? No, they're not going to go deep. Not quite enough mana for another stack and a, and a Firefly, so they'll have to let it go. Bottom lane, the pressure's continuing from old 11. Forcing Envy right back. He's found 10 CS, but indeed the, the farming's going much better for Ice 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 on the Juggernaut up top. Doubling the CS of Envy at the moment. I get a stomp. He does have two points in the crush, but these two heroes, old Lanham and old 11. You see that torrent beefy. fake, man? They don't they don't teach that. That's a that's a Kunkka player thing. Attacker is watching right now, and he's, he's just smiling to himself. It's like, I taught him that. I see, yeah. Uh, See what Pi's been able to do. Pi headed up top. What's with Bulba for a little bit? Trying to create some more issues for the Juggernaut. And now, I'll see if he needs to go back mid or search for I mean, RTZ, of course, he's doing absolutely fine on his own at the moment. The farm is ridiculous for this Morphling. Oh, oh yeah. Once you get the wave advantage and you get one item over the Marana, you just crush. Because she can't actually uh, freely harass anymore. Pi's able to snag the top rune. Bottom though, Poppy wasn't able to grab it, and Ehome are going to look to try and chase him down. Old Eleven doesn't quite have the mana for another void. Uh, still on cooldown. Uh, CTP reactions coming through as well as uh, Secret will look to back up Puppy. Make sure that Ehome can't die for this one. Envy gets the crush off. Uh, look to chase this one down. Trying right, for disruption. Puppy's out of mana, but a few punches could have a good chance of doing it. Envy can't get in range though for a second crush, and Old Eleven will be able to walk it off. That was a very uncharacteristic torrent there from Lanham. He normally doesn't miss his early game torrents, especially when the uh, like the enemy hero doesn't try to juke, and because of that, Puppy ends up walking it off. I think if it lands, they almost 100% get that kill, because the Night Stalker had boots and it was nighttime. So a missed kill opportunity here from Eat Home. They can't afford to have that kind of stuff happen, because as we mentioned, they're the ones who want to pressure the lanes. They need with their dual off lane to, to make something happen, and obviously not getting that kill is a bit of a misplay. You can see in the mid lane, RTZ was able to force the Marana back to base. It's back, Arrow. Well, it's not going to connect. RTZ able to dodge it. Well, still, as we can see, both teams. It's done able to find any kind of pick as there have been movements across the map. No one with that perfect opportunity. Let's keep it on the mid lane.
Tor getting his bottle refilled by the puppy. That was some heavy bottle abuse. He actually used the bottle charge when he threw out a spirit to regain all his mana and then bottled Artor and then gave it back. That is that is some efficiency right there. I mean, where do we look for the plays to be made? I mean, is there a, a pressure on, on one of the teams to make something more happen in this late oh, stage? Oh, for sure. Like, like, not even a question. Because, it, like, the late game, the Morphling, you just can't kill him with Ehome's heroes. Like, you, you're you going to be playing into a Lincoln's, potentially. It's old chicken. I'm not going to get this rune, either. Man, they are just crushing this poor Marana. Like, they start off with Pylite Eye in the lane. They get both runes that spawn after the 0-0 zero, zero mark. Or I guess at this point, it would be all three, right? Because it's six-minute rune, so... Yeah, old chicken is just... He's got less CS than the support warlock. That is just not, not okay. Nope. It's been a tough time for the chick. We'll see if he's able to recover. But indeed, RTZ, still the master of this lane, 35 for 20. Farm continues to get out of hand. Envy has got an Invis rune. He's on his own, though, so unlikely he's going to be able to set up too much of a surprise onto World 11. Sitting there with his 950 HP and 12 mana, uh, 12 armor, sorry. 15 when he's in the tower. So 13. I'm going to have E Holmes. Oh, Chicken hanging around as well, just around the camps, trying to take what he can. He's going to throw an arrow, and it will connect onto RTZ, but again, it's a Morphling. You're not going to be killing him at this stage with just a Kunkka and the Marana. Top lane, ice, ice, ice. Playing very aggressively, was able to force the wave right back and does have an Omni Slash available if he sees a, a chance to use it. He's going to move towards the mid. Maybe if he can catch RTZ early enough, he can have a chance. There's two points in the morph. Arteezy does have back him. There's a disruption as well available. So Ice Ice Ice, he's coming incredibly aggressively here. And he's not going to be able to find the kill. And in fact, he himself has to be careful. Pops the healing ward out and backs away. A very aggressive movement from Ice Ice Ice. And he's just not able to find an opening to jump in. I think he's realizing the position that his team is in. And sure, he has a lot of farm, which is a great thing. But, you know, Juggernaut's one of those heroes that can do a lot, even if he doesn't have farm. If you get a good spin and you get an Omni Slash off. So he's just trying to contribute as much as he can during this early game, realizing the importance of Ehom is like winning their lanes. Oh, they'll go for a killer, though. Omni Slash and a right click will do it. Ehom finally able to, to break the peace between these two sides eight minutes in. As a lone puppy, he was just looking to soak up some XP and farm in that top lane. Will get punished. On him, old 11. Trying to go in on to MP, but at this point it's hard with the amp, and especially with the smoke from Pi and Bulba. Dude, this Night Sucker is. Yeah, he's in trouble. They're getting a perfect wraparound. Old 11 playing incredibly aggressive as Envy just baits him. And uh, here we have the bait is successful. Out he comes, the crush from Envy, and punching down onto him. They'll use the lasso to just make sure Old 11 doesn't get a chance to punch into Envy with another void. And they will find themselves the pick off there. Nice That's a huge smoke. kill because look at how farmed he is. Like, he's got 1100 gold, 47 CS. He's the second highest farmed hero. He's almost doubling what Envy had in lane. That just goes to show how much they were doing in that off lane just by having the Night Stalker there with the, uh, with the Kanka. Bulba on the road to the Bat Rider. Oh, uh, sorry, the Bat Rider blink halfway at the moment. Envy as well, 1200 gold. I mean, does Envy himself just farm the straight up blink dagger, or is it, is it armlet or anything else that he needs to get first? I think armlet's really good this game. Yeah, it looks like he's yeah he's gonna pick up armlet. Wow. Because you already you already have bat getting blink right, so he can yeah. just pull the heroes into you, and then you can get the crush. I like this positioning up top. Old Lanham came in with Femra. They dropped a ward down. They're eyeing up Puppy again. See how far Puppy comes up the lane, but Puppy's playing careful. And yeah, Old Lanham just reveals himself. They look to transition this into just a push onto the tier one. Just have a good chance of getting it. No reactions at the moment for Secret other than Puppy just spamming out the spirit. Arteezy remaining in the mid lane to farm up. Bottom lane's been left a little bit free now for Old Levin as he comes back into it. And it looks like Ehome will be able to finish off the tier 1 top. Arteezy looking to get a bit of damage in return onto the tier 1 middle. TP's coming in from Old Lanham. He's going to hit the torrent. Of course, not going to be able to kill Arteezy on the morph lane. Just trading a few hits with him. It's bottom pie. Looks like he managed to snag an Invis Rune just from underneath the nose of the Night Stalker. Ice 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 comes in again with the next push. Omni Slash is available again, so Puppy's got to be careful how close he gets to this jug. 
And more money into the bank of Ice 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 as he does remain on top of the net worth board at the moment and quite comfortably so as well, hitting 5k at the 10 minute mark. Ehome are still making the right moves, you know, they're, they're getting some, some map control, killing the tower. They have rock available, and as soon as the boat comes out from Lanham... I'm talking about our Lanham. Let's see Pi looking for a bit of a setup. A jump for but Vartizi. They'll take down the Kunker. Reaction from my side, side. He does have the Omni available. Waveform already used, and they'll get the kill. What a bait, honestly. That was so good. <laughs> he had the rep out the whole time. He just baits Ice 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 to waste his ultimate. Vartizi playing around with him, dodging. Dodging danger. It's such a hard kill to get. I'm surprised Ice 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 even Omni that. Maybe he thought that he would die too fast to react, but. I don't think I'm doing anything else. I mean, still, E home, they don't find Arteezy's blood. I, I mean, he doesn't have any blood, though, and he's made out of water. That's true. Let's see what we can make happen here as they come around towards the bottom. E home, still desperate to find some more action. They have got the golem ready to drop. Looks like eyes on the Envy. A little bit of an easier kill than Morphling. Potentially, and they're moving immediately. Silence, hand point. Old Chicken jumps forth. They're not even going to need to drop the rockers. Old Lemon and Old Chicken take down the Slard Art. It's the old man gank. Always very potent. I'm kind of surprised that Fenrir hasn't committed his ultimate to doing anything yet. Like, they can use it for a tier one. Just ice, ice, ice. Nice yeah, fine. That was a close one. That was a pretty hopeful ult there from Puppy. Just maybe assuming that Ice 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 might take the direct path away because he was scared of getting autoed more, but recognizing the bigger threat, he just walks down and dodges the uh, the Earth Splitter. So, good stuff. On e home. after taking the tier 1 top, they look to take this one bottom. They are getting the objectives as well. You know, Secret unable to yet find a chance to, to, to take a tower down themselves. Bulba. Very close to that blink dagger timing. So we're going to be able to see what he can get done with that across the map. The deep towers are going down. Pings out onto the mid lane. Envy ready to move forward. You do have Boba coming in for the sidelines. No blink yet. I'm not sure if he meant to end the courier, but... Why not? <laughs> oh, they were like right on top of each other. If you amp Ice 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 while he's spinning, knowing Omni might still be down, you can just yeah. get a crush after the spin, and then yeah. you could potentially kill. Like Ehome? I mean, the power is... You can, you can see Ehome, they are not too scared of Secret at this point. Oh, they should be. There's a Blink Dagger up on the bat. Wow. I mean, they, they can't... They don't know this. Wait, did they see the Courier delivered? Because this is a ward top lane. Was he standing Ooh, by the yeah, tier... Good question. Was How he far standing by the tier 2? I didn't actually catch if he walked into ward vision or not, because that would be a huge reveal. Oh, oh wow. Oh, they kill Arteezy. They just blew him up. This time, the Omni Slash was enough. Arteezy not well, able he, to replicate out. He got boated that time, so... Yeah. Boat hits real hard. And the bottom lane, Pilot does trying to make a move on old 11, but look at old chicken's position. Mice come out. There's a wraparound. They're going to catch out the demon. There's the rock drops onto Bulber and Envy, making sure there's no backup. Knee home taking two. Puppy comes in with a nurse splitter. He's still trying to play with this. They'll juke out the torrent. Crushing the golem. Secret. They just can't get themselves in close enough to find anything in return. And Ehome taking down two in quick succession from Secret. And they're going to make a good attempt at bringing down the tier 2 as well. Envy put the amp on the golem, but they can't really close the gap as of yet. They're looking to stomp back Ehome, but they duke out the echo from the spirit. Now L11 just comes forward. Envy, he could be in trouble. The jump forward, the star storm, it's ripping them apart. Secret, they've lost Envy. Arteezy now returning to the fray. Eyes onto old 11. Bulba jumping forward, but the Moonlight Shadow, where's the detection? I, have I mean, a they have a century here, but they just they can't go back in. Waveform was still on cooldown. They didn't have the burst. And E Home playing it very, very nicely. A second tower on this bottom lane. And finding the kills as well from Secret as they're able to do nothing to stop it. Yeah, that was so good. Like, the, the way the fight starts off, like, Golem gets dropped when Sam is walking up the hill. It puts his blink on cooldown forever because he gets Fatal Bonds cast on him after the rock hits. So when Fatal Bonds attaches to you and a creep and the creep doesn't die, you can never blink. You're just in a constant state of blink on, off cooldown or on cooldown, on cooldown. It's just super frustrating. And they tried to force it, I think, a little bit too hard because they really wanted to keep that Tier 2 alive because they understand that the pace of the game that they're playing is not quite as fast as Ehome's, but unfortunately, they're just not able to defend. And because of this, there's th this support Kunkka is actually getting pretty farmed. Like, he's got phase, he's got drums. 
Minam's been involved in a lot of these kills so far, and the guy's been making some plays. It's it's really been a slow game for uh, for Envy for sure. Sitting there, what fourth bottom at the moment on the net worth? I mean, he had the hardest lane. He did. And it's not like Secret were doing a whole heck of a lot to try to address it. Puppy, you know, he went top lane. He was kind of helping a little bit at the start and then realized, okay, this lane might just be a loss no matter what. And that kind of just throws envy to the wolves, unfortunately. I mean, just look at look at the Night Stalker as well. His farm, as, he, as you were saying at the start, is ridiculous and it just continues. He's... Jesus, he's almost got yeah. agony. Look, he's second highest. It's uh, It's been a good game for old 11 so far. There's oh. no doubt. Oh. Oh. Nope. Ah, you got it. Denied. He should be fine, right? Yeah, he's fine. This is some very, very farmed cores on E-Home. Man, when the Aghanims comes up for old 11, that is so scary for Secret. Their map control is going to dwindle so fast because they've already lost all their tier 1s. Yeah. Yeah, E-Home are, are keeping control of the map very nicely. And as you said, it's only going to get worse for Secret. E-Home smoking up. Ready to make a move up top. They do have the Golem available from Fembra. Oh, that's easy. Has the replica out. We're already sending it back as well. In fact, he's just going to TP down bottom. Oh, old Lanham's actually putting a bit of pressure on, on the Kunker. Uh, he himself, another hero to get a lot of space up top. Trying to jump forward. Not going to find anyone on the secret. They're already all out. Ehem unable to find any kind of fight. Secret themselves are smoked up towards the mid. They're Bob looking for Lanham. Envy. They know that he was bottom, and now they want to try to kill him on his way back, I suppose. Because they, they know that the rest of E-Home went top. Are they going to... Are they going to Roche? Oh, that's a bold move. They're going to Roche? This is... Even with... Oh. <laughs> I mean, with a Sardar, it's it's going to work. Uh, yeah, with uh, well, that's easy. They have got the damage. All right, this is actually... What a call. What a call to go for Roshan right now. They, look at their skin. E-Home have no idea where Secret are. They're actually totally lost. Do you think they realize the tool? That, well, they're gonna they're gonna realize it like a second before it dies. I'm sure that's usually what happens. It's like, oh crap, they're probably just roaching. That was such a good yeah, call. From I think the, the ping from Jug literally came just before the roach fell. They realized. Yeah, that's always what happens, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, the roach oh, is dead. Yeah, Roshan has died to the dire. Man, what a play. Wow. At first, I thought they were just going to go try for a pick, and I'm like, yeah, but four-man smoke ganking, the Kunkka doesn't really do that much for you. And then I was like, wait a minute. They're just going to kill Roshan. Okay. Very nice stuff. Uh, it really was what Secret needed as well, because as we can see, they, whoa, they're falling behind. Look at the 10k. Yeah, they're falling behind That's... real bad. Ehome is just getting so much more done around the map. Yeah, but, but they also recognize that because of the fact that Ehome has Juggernaut, if they wanted to go for Roshan and they were in the pit, it's very hard for Secret to take that fight due to the deficit that they have. So by taking the Aegis away and not actually taking a fight, Ehome lose out just straight up. Because with that Aegis, Ehome maybe could have like taken at least the Tier 2s. Maybe they don't get the Tier 3s, but at least they're taking the rest of the map control away from Secret. That's a that's a huge step into getting themselves back into the game, because right now, Secret are hurting bad. Like, they need Blink on Envy, and after that, you need something like a BKB. They don't even have Lincolns yet on the Morphling. It's 19 minutes in. This is a Morphling who was, like, doubling up or tripling even Old Chicken CS during the laning yeah, phase. Yeah, he had an absolute free lane mid. And he's just not even to his first item. As you said, old eyes, us. So old chicken, living on the Ags completion. Old Levin, he does have his Ags completed as it comes out to him. So this, of course, a pre-20 minute acronyms for the offlane Night Stalker. Some crazy timing from the side of Eho. Old Lanham, working through that armlet that he wishes to get done on top of the phase boots and drums. And uh, also, uh, Fremer himself, of course, not managed to, to amount much money at all. This, uh, He's not really had the big kind of wombo fights that he's been able to rack up any big kills or such with a good golem. Battle Fury nearly complete from Ice Ice Ice. As uh, this is indeed a, a very, very fun joke. 20 minutes in, 9k top of the board. The closest only being Artesian himself, over one and a half thousand behind. And in addition to that, the, the Warlock buys a gem for the Night Stalker, so... Now Old Eleven's going to be able to walk around and remove what little vision Secret have in the map. Like They they have one nice ward against a Night Stalker with an Agonims. And uh, he didn't quite go high enough to spot that one. Oh, there we go. Now he sees it. 
And goodbye, Ward. So, um... Okay, they are going to place one more fresh ward, and now old Eleven's drawing across the map. He's like, yep, we got to do the ward sweep. We're playing Mind Sweeper now, Radiant except this is ward sweeper. Is Just going to get everything off the map, make sure that Secret don't have any chance of catching us with a with our pants down. Ice, ice, ice! Is he going to do it? Oh, Envy might be dead. I mean, if he did... Envy is so dead. Oh, he is. So Ice, Ice, Ice gets the kill there. t -tour central as we go in between the two of them. Envy being chased down, so... And they're going to lose Pi. I will uh, lose eventually, Envy. Try to keep himself alive for as long as he can with the armlet toggling. It isn't going to be successful. So Ehem again, two quick kills. Secret getting caught out. And having no reaction whatsoever. And of course, that kill that Ice, Ice, Ice was able to pick up is going to mean that the Battle Fury is now complete on top of the phase Yasher Akila. This is getting real out of hand for Secret. I mean, they do have decent high ground defense, but the rate at which Ehom are getting an advantage is insane. Like, I don't know how they're supposed to take a fight outside of the base at this point, unless for, like, somehow they can pull Ehom apart. Like, that's what they need to do somehow. Just use the Morphling to bait out something, split up the map, maybe get a Batrider initiation on someone and a, an Elder Titan or a Splitter in and try to get a quick pick. Like, they're pinging it now. They really, really want to go for, for Old Chicken here. And they're going to get it by the looks of it, Bulba. Jumping in. Old Chicken. Hoops up to the side. They'll pop down the last one. There will be TP reactions, so this could get messy. Old Chicken gets nuked down. Now Ice 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 moving forward with the Blade Fury. Looking to chase down Puppy. Puppy bought back. They should finish it off. Puppy is just making sure he wastes as much time with this as he can. He's the only one to fall at the moment. Are you home? Looking to chase for more. They've got eyes on RTZ. In comes the Void. The Silence. He can't quite get it off. RTZ waveforms down. Old Lemon finds the Silence now, though. And RTZ didn't start to morph as of yet. Defensive oh, what a disruption. disruption, though, from Pi. Might just save him. No. <laughs> the Golem comes down from Fenrir. No messing up. Pop the Aegis. Can they finish him off a second time? No, he's straight out with the replica. RTZ will be able to get himself back to base safely. They were just like, disruption? Nah, we're just going to golem that. It's fine. Man, Ehome are just... They are rolling this game. This got to be like one of the least farm safe lane slardars ever. Tower. Stonics are full. Fortification comes out, but he's jumping from Envy, goes for the crush, immediate play through him, back up from my side, size the boat, it's coming in, it's going to hit onto our tour, but he's already started to morph the strength, he can actually fight himself out of this one, backs off, and be incredibly low, I'm going to toggle himself for life, good stop from Envy, oh, the disruption, home. Oh, the disruption is going to cause the death of Envy, Pylite dies! Not like this, and Ice 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 comes in with the Omni, can't quite finish up, but the Demonic Purge, Ice 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 indeed, too deep for the boy, and he's down, they've lost the jug in return, now you home. Got to be careful about this one as they may have overstayed their welcome. They did find Envy, but they lost the Jug. And of course, at this stage of the game, Jug is pretty much worth twice the value of Envy. So a trade that Secret will be happy with in Ehome's overextension. Man, that was... That was from Pilot Die was like so clutch because he was stopping the second Star Storm hitting from the, the Marana because Aghanims was there. Otherwise, he would have just died anyway. But he did die like, anyway. I mean, he did die yeah. anyway, but the fact is that the Disruption actually baited out Ice 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 farther than he wanted to go and resulted in getting a kill. Okay. So even if the Disruption technically killed him, he was dead anyway, and it ended up getting a kill because Ice 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 just YOLOs into their base. Everything considered for Secret, that was, uh, that was a godsend of a fight. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Are you home? I mean, Rums a little bit. They didn't even finish off the Tier 2 either, so... Secret's certainly putting a bit of a stop to them. And now yeah, Secret. they can get this tower. Getting a bit of momentum now, your ball, but... Alright, looking to see if anyone from E-Home comes too close for their own good. Just at least making space for Arteezy to finish off this tower. And, uh, oh, he... He didn't want the tower gold. Ah, that's fine. He's, he's being more team-friendly, you know? He wants to yeah. give more gold to the team. Even though that's wrong, Andy. I know, not anymore. It used to be it like It used that. to be like, but now, yeah, if you hit it, you actually give more to everyone. I believe. So the internet tells me. Dota 2, man. Dota 2. But yeah, the secret... They're not completely out of it. Uh, the one scary thing, of course, is always going to remain to be the Aghanims on Old 11, and just when nighttime rolls around, having a very hard time dealing with that hero and just the vision obstruction that he has. And look at his money! He's got 3,600 gold! What does he buy with this? Uh, a hedge fund. I don't know, BKB maybe? BKB is super good this game.
The other option is going like uh, Vlad's or AC, just get some armor. Yes, yeah, so because you are playing against the Elder Titan. Or oh, pick up a Lotus. Lotus or so? It's a Lotus, yeah. yeah. Lotus is super good too. Dispels the amp, gives you armor. Not quite as team friendly as the AC or the Vlad's, but it, it keeps him alive. And if you're carrying around a gem, you, you kind of want to be alive. Oh, hello. Talking about all levels, he's actually been spotted out by Bulba. And he's there as well. And Big pick. A nice kill indeed. Odd Levin taken down, loses a few hundred gold from that one as well. And a lot of money in the bank of Envy, and he needs that as well. As we said, Slada has been falling behind this game. The kills like that get him back up, Pilot like die. With some very ballsy lane pushing up top. He's on his own. Odd Lanham, okay, he's in trouble now because Artur's turned up. And they come, oh, Pilot like die. Can he actually finish off the kill on Old Lanham? It doesn't look like he can, and with the golems down, Pi's gonna fall. So they're chasing onto Arteezy. I can't actually, of course, catch them all things. So it's easy gets out. That is a super tanky pirate. And by pirate, I mean Admiral. I'm sure I just triggered that guy who made the Reddit post about not calling Kunkka a pirate. Was there a guy who made a Reddit post about that? Yes, he actually made a Reddit post made saying Reddit that, posts about everything that Kunkka is not a pirate. Wow. He's an Admiral. But no, that, that boat was super clutch because otherwise old Lanham definitely dies there. Not even a question. And he, he does have his patented uh, armlet build. He bought it after the drums this game, so a little bit of a deviation. And he's actually skilling X, which most of the time you see 440 on him. Granted, he's level 12, so he's going to have points in X regardless. Just a little bit of a, a change up from the norm. And Secret, you know, we're talking about Envy having a rough start, but to be honest, as soon as he gets to BKB, the dynamic of this game changes a lot. Yeah. Because instead of walking in and getting like quad star stormed or X torrented or silenced by the Night Stalker, he's going to blink in with BKB and just be able to truck whoever he wants. Whether it's Fenrir, whether it's, you know, the Marana, you're going to force her to leap away. You know, you can even jump on Lanham. There's a lot of targets for a Slardar with a BKB. So the power spike on Secret's team is going to be huge once that item comes out. And I think that Ehome recognized this. They want to try to, again, establish or re-establish map control, make sure that Secret just aren't getting anything. And, you know, the biggest problem is Old Eleven losing that gem is just so bad for their game plan. Because now they don't have that free D ward. They got to wait for another gem or they have to hope that when the sentries are dropped there by Fenrir, they're, they're landing in the right spots. And having that vision allows Secret to delay the game, which in turn gives them a better chance of winning. Secret pushing in on the mid. Ehome, we're in Secret Jungle at the time being. They're going to head over. Roshan, indeed, up in a few seconds. Secret, how could the creep wave pushing in top? Tier 2 could be for the taking. Ephemera. 1700 gone on top of the point booster towards having that Aghanims for the Warlock. And they're going to look for Roshan themselves, Ehome. And this could be something that, by the looks of it, Secret, they're not going to be able to react to. And this, this could be a free Rosh for Ehome. It will most likely be uncontested. The, the thing to keep in mind, though, is that, you know, Artor is starting to get his own farm as well. He's second net worth, only, you know, he's 2,500 behind Ice Ice Ice, but also consider the fact that he does have a death and uh, the game has been really E-Home dictating the tempo more often than not. So for E-Home, this is a, a very important timing because if they can get the rest of the map control away, repurchase a gem when it's off cooldown, and just restrict secret, then the, their game plan is back on point. And they still have time to do that. It's just that this Aegis needs to be very impactful for them. I can see him desperate to make something happen here. They're coming around, looking to catch it all. easy. Everything being dropped down. He'll get the chance to wait for him out, though. The boat's off point. Femria holds on to the golem for the time being. Secret coming back, ready for the defense. I think Lanham hesitated there. I think he threw out the boat like a like a half a second too late because he wasn't sure the torrent was going to land. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure you can chain stun there. I'm not entirely sure, but I think he hesitated for a very, very small amount of time, like almost unnoticeable. But because of that, they're not able to kill uh, the Morphling. Maybe Pi would have been close enough anyway. I'm not sure. Well, let's see. I mean, Puppy, he's actually continued to, to pick up the irons while well, four staff looks to be next. After the medallion, Bulba holding the gem at the moment, 2k gold. Uh, on top of the star, what's he uh, doing with the star of wizardry? Uh, yours, maybe? Yours first? Uh, sorry, we're next after the boss, yeah. Yours is pretty decent. Yeah, I guess, yeah. With all 11 running around the crippling fear. Well, the big thing is if you get X'd, um, you can Yules you can it so you don't yeah. get torrented. Time, That's another yeah. one. You can dispel silence. Yeah. Alright, E home. 
still continuously moving around as a group. I mean, this is giving the chance for Secret to achieve this play of RTs. He's just pushing down the side lanes. But this is the hard part in the game for Ehome because the Morphling is getting enough farm to the point where his split push is going to start to become a problem, and they are still having a hard time killing him. I mean, look at what they did bottom, and they still couldn't catch him out completely, right? So the longer the game goes on, the Morphling split push is going to become more and more problematic, and then at some point, Ehome have to try to go high ground. And this is against Bat and Elder Titan and potentially a Blink BKB Slardar. It's not a small task, especially against an experienced team like Secret. Oh, Bulba. I've got eyes on him here. They're going to lead in with everything. He'll blink away, and the Yule's timing is perfect. Bulba says, nice X marks, as he jukes it all off. Yeah, and that's that, why you get the Yules. <laughs> that item just crushes Kunkka. Yeah. That's like the best item against him, pretty much. And now Ehome are kind of, uh, they're out of sorts for the time being. I mean, they get some aggressive vision down, which is great. Do they actually have a gem yet is my... They have it available, but they haven't bought it yet. They need to make sure that all the wards are off the map. Currently, Secret only has one. But you want to be very diligent about that, because Night Stalker is all about the vision control. He's all about stopping Secret from getting out on the map, making sure that they feel very scared to take any real engagement, because then you can just pressure by being alive and not on the map. It's a very, very nice style to play. Femre has uh, pretty much got the acronym still. Oh, they have a gem, excuse me. Oh, yeah, they, nice they, still, still, they did buy another gem. Yeah. Alright, I didn't see that. They must have just given it to him a second ago. MB. His eyes on old chicken up top. Um, Can he uh, make a play himself? If here? he had BKB, I'd say he could go for this and maybe at least get the Aegis because yeah. Slardar is so fast and he can just amp and there's nothing that Old Chicken has to dispel, but because he doesn't have magic immunity, he pretty much can't go for the kill. Otherwise, he would just get blown up by Quad Star Storm in a sprint. Not easy. Still continue to have a very nice amount of fun, especially considering the, uh, the point where the farm just slowed down for Secret as a whole. They are recovering from that early game momentum that, that Ehome managed to get. I mean, as we can see, there's still obviously a lead for Ehome, but uh, Secret have managed to even it out. It, it's yeah. gotten to this point where it, it's staying at a flat level. They stopped the bleeding, more or less, which is the most important part. Because that means if it's, if it's just a static lead, that Ehome not getting any further ahead puts a lot of emphasis on Ehom pushing high ground again, as we mentioned before, and it's it's not easy against Secret Heroes. They're really, really good at defending high ground. So Ehom are potentially waiting out for even another Aegis. I'm not sure if they're going to make use of this one, but they could be relying on the Night Stalker, allowing them to control the game, so where they can just go for Roshans for free and maybe Secret won't feel too comfortable contesting. They're going to pop the Moonlight Shadow. They're looking for somebody. Envy is just... Failing. He's not even going to risk staying up here with the Night Stalker in the game. He's just going to TP away, which is definitely the right call. Yeah, and with that, he's got the BKB done ready for the next fight, Envy. Those Morphling Illusions. Jesus. I mean, Ehome again with the Darkness. With the movement, they just don't find anyone out on the map from Secret. And that is indeed the Aegis expired. Yeah, that's true. The Replicate Morphling and then the double SD Illusions just killed the tower and took almost half the health of the Tier 2. This is why Ehome need to end the game. And why we're emphasizing so much about them controlling the map and making sure that Secret can't really, you know, just do whatever they want for too long. It becomes very, very scary. So much got being racked up on RTs. He's still more, though. On our side, side, Scardy complete. But as you said, Ehome, they need to be able to do something with, with the gold on these heroes and, and find the uh, the chance to fight, and it just hasn't been happening. I mean, they're only one tower up right now. It's not really that big of a deal. One yeah. tower at, at 35 minutes is like whatever. But they're abusing the Shadow Demon Morphling a lot. Like, they're just sending it through lanes, using it to scout. You know, Artor can replicate the Shadow Demon illusion, which totally is imbalanced. I'll see you, huh? There we go. To jump in. He gets the last one to white side size. Bringing him out of the fight immediately. Secret, the rest of them are to the north. The guard for the golems coming out. The self destruction. Keeping him alive. Envy wants the BKB. Trying to get out chicken, but he can't finish it off. Arteezy brought back into the boat. Crush down. They'll lose the morphling. <laughs> And Ehome, they may not be done quite yet. They're jumping forward. The CP out there from Pipe Puppy. Does he make it? No, oh, he doesn't. Those crits. Ehome with the fight that they've been looking for for what felt like the last 10 minutes.
I don't know if Secret felt like they were strong enough to fight like that, but there's just no way. There was no way they were going to win that fight that way. They open up on the hardest hero to kill the entire team. Earth Splitter misses. They just get Chaotic offering. And that Omni bounced to three different heroes and then back to Envy when the disruption came out from Pylai Die. That was just insane, like, luck from Ice Ice Ice. So, skill, Andy. Yeah, that's true. Definitely skill. Just like his two points in the Blade Dance double crit puppy to kill him during the TP. That's also a skill. I mean, obviously, Ehome, they have a, a huge advantage in regards to the 5v5, and I didn't really expect Secret to take a full-on engagement like that. I thought they would just kind of wait it out. Maybe they felt like with the BKB on Slardar, they were a little bit stronger. But that is not the case. So they, uh, they pretty much had to bail. I guess it's lucky they only lost one hero. And it's not like Ehome can really go high ground at the moment, so... I mean, what do Ehome need to, to go high ground? Is it, is it just a case of waiting for the uh, the Warlock ult to come back off course? Yeah, you want you want golems for sure. Um, the other thing is, you can go for a pick if you have a Night Stalker. You can yeah. always play that game. Yeah. And you can always farm or out farm your opponent because they're always going to be more scared than you out on the map. So that's another way that Ehome can do this. Just try to keep the lanes pushed out so Artor doesn't start chipping down like the tier 2s and tier 3s. That's like priority number one. And then after that, just make sure that Secret aren't out on the map. And you will, you will just eventually out farm them to the point where they can't win a fight anymore, even on their own high ground. I'm gonna pop the moonlight. See what kind of move they can make. Old chicken and old lanham. Maybe looking towards the top. I mean, finding an RTZ pick would be big. Still has the uh, replica out at the moment. And uh, yeah, moves out immediately. So, not a chance for Ehome to find the action that they need. At the least, they'll clear the lane out and start to push it back around. As uh, this is indeed one of the issues they do need to deal with, as we're saying, just the morphling consistently putting pressure on the edges of the map. I mean, you can see the difference reflected in like the net worth and XP. As soon as, as soon as Secret take a team fight, just massive dip in favor of Ehom. Pi, he's got his blank dagger. Looks like he's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that for now, Ehom are still feeling relatively confident. They have a huge lead in terms of experience and gold. They can wait out Roshan. Like, this is the restriction that we're talking about, right? The only person who can leave base right now is Artor. Yeah. The only person. Anybody else will die. So right now, they just have a bunch of members of Ehome sitting in front of their base, farming their woods, farming the lanes, just getting more of an economical lead over Secret until it's an insurmountable lead. And again, RTZ. They, they are, for, just, they are looking going. For him. Can they do it? Oh, he's straight out. That was so close. The senses tingle. I mean, they even got a blink dagger on old 11. So if he was fast enough, he might have been able to get in and get the silence out before the replicate. But yeah, that that was uh, almost death for the morphling. Once he gets Manta, it's not going to be nearly as scary. But for now, he wants to save for buyback just in case. Of course, Roshan's going to be on the table here in a couple of seconds. Yeah, this could be the next big fight around the Roche Pit. Femra has got an invis, so he could set up for an ice golem from from the back lines. Moonlight Shadow used as well as Ehome, starting to move in. Can they actually get anything here? They might be able to find Puppy, they will. Uh, let me get seen, cancels the TP off, and Ehome uh, take down the Elder Titan. The rest are secret back to base. Roshan is indeed going to be up in about 20, 20 seconds or less. They will have a bit of time before puppies back up for the Roche will be alive for. It's just a question of whether they get anyone over there in time. And Ice Ice Ice, you could actually head over just the right time. And oh, that arrow. <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing. <laughs> Easy peasy. Calculated on. And yeah, I mean, just having the Elder Titan off the map is its a great window of opportunity. That's like the their Roche. best yeah. hero at stopping yeah. Roche. So with that thing dead, e -home are like, all right, let's go. Easy Roche. Give it to, uh, let's see, they can give it to Old Chicken, I guess, yeah. He's pretty much the only one who can carry it at this point. Oh no, Ice 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 is going to take it, actually. I guess he had uh, room because he had phase boots still. And then bought mods oh, yeah. and dropped his TP. Yeah. 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 Alright, so, he's going to actually ditch the phase and the blink. They lose half health on their tier 3 tower, though, this game is... Oh, Envy. He's got to be careful, Old Eleven. 
He's got the eyes on him, the torrent and the boat coming through. He'll put the BKB, go for the TP out. Oh. They'll drop the golems just to kill Envy. A lot of hate being dropped onto the fishy fellow. It's worth though, honestly. When you're this far ahead, you can drop a chaotic offering just to kill a core. It's not a even if you're not ahead, I'd say killing a core with a, a yeah. golem is fine. And especially because I imagine, yeah, with the timing, they're going to be able to use it to just push back around this lane that uh, obviously RTZ has been always sitting. So, so making sure that the lanes are pushed in with the golems as well. D home with the Aegis on high side size have this timing to do do something here with this push. Abyssal Blade finished on high side size as he is. He really has been having some absolute standout performances so far here at TI. I watched the guy play, what, four games, five games, and he's only died yeah. like twice? Yeah. He's, I mean, arguably just one of the most consistent carries that I, I've seen so far this, this tournament. It's like one of those players who you always knew was very mechanically talented, even back when you played offlane. And now you're just putting him in a position where his mechanics actually make a bigger difference, I feel. Yeah, just once again, Arteezy pushing out the lanes as far as he can, uh, forcing Ehome back. Not even getting the tier 3 tower. I mean, considering the fact that Envy died, and they didn't get a, a tier 3 tower for that, having the, uh, the Aegis advantage, and of course Cheese too, because that was Roshan number 3. It's a big deal, keeping themselves in the game. And as we can see next push as well, he's just a few hundred gold away from plate mail and a full AC on, on old 11's Night Stalker. So something else that's going to add to the push. And with AC, with the uh, the golems coming back up cooldown in less than a minute, that could be the go ahead for Ehome to try and make use of this Aegis and go for a high ground siege against Secret, which you know, with those tools at the ready, it's going to be hard for Secret to put a stop to it. I think it would actually... Okay, they do have two Force Staffs. I was going to say, if Secret have double Force, they can pull somebody super far away and potentially kill them. Who before... are you looking to pull in, you feel? Who does Bulba need to get the guy? Uh, I mean, the Night Stalker is good. Kunk is good. Juggernaut is not good, because you're going to have to kill him twice. I mean, pretty much anybody but Juggernaut. That, that's, that's how this has to go. Night Stalker would probably be the best target because he's carrying a gem. And he is also the one who controls the map, so if you killed him, then you would be able to push out the lanes relatively free. And that's an AC done, so that, that man just became very difficult to kill. With Lotus AC, he has 41 armor. I mean, this is the thing as well, they can go for this EM, where they just X marks the Jug, get him in, he goes for a few punches, get him back out, rinse and repeat. They use the Disruption. And again, not leading in. RTZ is trying his darndest to put the pressure on elsewhere, though. I mean, he's doing it. He's actually forcing at least Old Chicken to come back. Sure, he has bots, but making space is the name of the game here. You need to buy time. You need to buy time until the Morphling can actually, you know, get those kills. Maybe Envy can get himself another item before you actually have to start taking a real fight. But until then, you, you just use Shadow Demon Illusions to be annoying. That's what you do. The thing about Ice 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 and his build is the fact that he doesn't actually have any reliable plus armor outside of AC Aura. Yeah. So with Amplified Damage and the, the ET, he actually just gets wrecked by right clicks. And that's the scary thing about playing Juggernaut in this game, which is another reason why we said that, you know, Ehome, they gotta dictate the pace of the game if they wanna win. They gotta abuse the Night Stalker, abuse their initiation potential with Moonlight Shadow, get Roshans, win the game. And you know, until this point, they've done all of those things. Okay, there's the flats. All right, we got the we got the double aura now against the other titan. So instead of having you know zero armor, he'll have ten, and then he'll get amped, and then he'll have minus five. Now at this point, as we can see, here, they managed to push in all three lanes on the side of the map. Or chicken jumping in immediately leaps down away from Arteezy to get the space for Ice Ice to finish off the tier three mid. The mid lane reacts now open. Ehome still. With the golems at the ready, Femrit. We'll see if he sees an option to, to drop them. Secret have got to find the right way of going around this fight. Arrow's actually going to connect onto Pile I Die. Envy jumps in with a blink crush for Ice Ice Ice. They look to nuke down the Shadow Demon, they'll find it. Old Chicken gets the kill and gets out. They're going to drop the Earth Spitter. It's going to hit onto out. Ice Ice Ice, and indeed the timing's just gone. No more Aegis for the Jug. But E Home still. I think to feel confident sticking around. Arrows knocked the clip onto Bulba. Level 11 breaks the Lincolns. Immediately blinks back out. 
Secret doing their best at the moment to just make sure that Ehan can't do anything about these rags. Oh. Losing goes out. That was so close to being a dead warlock. He has 200 health after stick charges. Oh, are these arrows though? They hit him <laughs> in the jump in. Oh, he gets the pistol on to NCB and it's down. No buyback on Envy. There's a buyback from Puppy though. Envy's gone. The home continuing to fly. They don't. They don't care about secret now. They'll find the range racks. Still has that warlock ult. God, this Kunkka abuse is disgusting. I've seen this before at the TI6 group stages, and it did not end well for the other team. Just what do they do? What do they do to stop this? I mean, they're doing what they can. MV. Still dead. RTZ came in, came out. Torrent not going to connect. Ice, ice, ice. Again, just moving in, being moved back out. And they're slowly but surely. Oh, it's getting oh! <laughs> Nearly. Oh my god. Nearly killing Ice 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 there. That just goes to show how much damage Secret can actually do. Yeah. Jesus, that was close. I thought Lannan fell asleep at his keyboard there for a second. Almost let Ice 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 die. Haste. Looks like yeah, we're going to back up. I mean, they keep the, the melee Rex is alive. No, they didn't get it. Oh, chicken. Turn around with uh, RTZ. RTZ, is he going to stick around for the tower? He wants that gold. He wants it. Who's going to get it? No. Oh, old chicken with the Oh, he might be in trouble. Oh. He doesn't have Lincolns up. I he has Mantha, though. Oh, he's, yes, indeed. He's fine. There we go. Middle lane. The mid lane. It's deep over. Get the last one to Ice Ice. That's getting nuked down the oh. air. From Puppy. Puppy there. With a massive ultimate. That was a 1500 gold earth splitter. Oh, baby. We take those. Puppy hitting the big bucks. All right, boys. We got a game on our hands. All right, damage done. Seems good. Jesus. That fight is... <laughs> Elder Titan. A 5k man. gold swing. That's why I'm saying... Picks. e home they gotta end the game. It's not easy winning late against these heroes. All right, old Lanham jumps in. Just for a three-man torrent, it's pretty. Uh, damage, of course, won't be there, puppy. Oh, maybe getting a little ahead of himself. Oh, he's bursted down immediately from the nukes of old chicken. Puppy punished. Now we can see if they can find anything more. What can they do without their captain alive? Secret. The four of them. I managed to find the tier two. No, oh, Artoria. Oh, okay. He's in a little bit of trouble. Has been eliminated. The boat's going to fly through. And connect, but already he's going full strength, Bartol. And he's fine. Gets himself away. Still old Levin eyeing him up. I think for a bit of a chase, but uh, RTZ's got a Lincolns and a shit ton of help. Oh, that jump they in. Oh. MVP's BKB. He needs to get himself out of there. The arrow. It's going to fly through. It's not going to connect to MV. We'll be fine for the time being, but Old Lannan blinking forward. Old Chicken hot on the chase as well. They want to get some self, some of that tasty, tasty cod. But Slada's out. MV's fine. Back to base. Yeah, the problem was. RTZ got caught with Strength Morph on when he got silenced, so he wasn't able to convert his stats. And because he was really scared of dying, he just didn't bother converting his stats back to Agi. And when you have a Morph Morphling with 5,500 health and like no right click damage, you can't fight with that. You have to go back. So unfortunately, a Secret not able to, to take the engagement that maybe they were looking for with Ice 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 being dead. I mean, best case scenario, they forced him to buy back. And that would have been like the dream. But. Secret, they're still holding on here. They really are. I mean, it's a 25k lead. It did actually go up to a 30k lead. That that last fight we saw, obviously, with the double kill. Yep. Swinging it back round by 5k. But this just goes to show the kind of style of Dota you can play when you have Night Stalker. It's just getting farther ahead, farther ahead, farther ahead all the time, just forcing the enemy team to stay on their base. I can see EO. Very, very close. He's looking to get a jump in. Old Chicken. Eyes on him. I trying to control the Murano. Is it going to be the case? See home backing up. Night time will be summoned by Old Levin. He comes into the lane. Oh, blinks himself out. So not looking to kick anything off. Arteezy just continue to play his game. All right. Dag on time, boys. Casually buy level four Dagon. No big deal. That amount of burst damage with Ethereal Blade and the Quad Star Storm is just off the charts. Just completely insane. I think almost any hero on 
the secret dies to that if they don't have BKB. Except for maybe the morph. Puppy's preparing. Yeah. He's picking up the... Uh... That might not even save him, actually. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the burst is probably... It might, might actually still kill him through all of that. Oh, Roshan's back up as well now. Yes, uh, could get a little bit messy between the two sides around the pit. I think Secret are deciding that this is where they stand. Yep. They, they don't want to let Ehom get another Roshan. Because there's still a cheese on Lanham. He's just carrying it around in his pocket. Okay, scan. Gonna hit here. Ehom, no. Secret are in the area. Both teams have got to be ever so careful about this rush. I mean, this is the most that Secret have been out on the map in the last, like, 10 to 15 minutes, so... If they manage to take this fight somehow, it would be huge for them. If Ehom win, they might just go slaughter the entire base of Secret. Look at this as well, Ehom. Going for the smoke wraparound. Ice, ice, ice. Will reveal himself. He'll use the night time. Old Eleven looking to lead in, seeing what way he can get a connection onto the side of Secret. RTZ hard to go on. Bit disruption from Pike, getting the illusions out. Old Chicken still moving forward, gets the initial burst, but Artor manses it off. It's gonna be fine, Envy, with a three man charge. The Earth Spirit coming for his way, but the Cold Speed drop. Oh, oh. he's gonna get taken down. The first catch in forward. The blow, the last hit for the Omni Slash, coming through from Ice Ice Ice, rips the fish to shreds, takes down the bat rider. The buybacks are coming out, though. Envy's back in. Nice Stalker as well, looking to return to the fight, seeing if they can get anything for the turn. Oh, he got the X marks. Oh, Lanham got the X marks onto Puppy, bringing him back in. Old Chicken's bail needs to burst down pie on the sidelines and now Old Chicken jumping in for more. Envy with the two-man crush, the stop, the turn around. Old Land has gone down. Old Chicken's got to be careful. Can't finish your puppy. E home. Being forced to back off. A buyback comes out from Pi as well. Some messy fighting going on. And he's going to open up Roche by the looks of it more so for E home. Take that as tribute. But E home. Oh, they're actually going to want to get themselves in on it at the moment. Where's Ice 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 at? He's already pretty much in the area. They're looking for more oh, kills, though. Oh, they are indeed. Pi just able to get himself out with the Glimmer Cape and Blink. Puppy. Just getting some vision here with the Spirit. Uh, E-Home indeed. Let's see if they want to do anything. There's still 30 seconds without without Kunkka. Hold 11. What can he find? I mean, my shadow to set this one up. I actually see Secret moving straight down the mid lane. Yeah, they realize how important this Roshan is. Like, you can't buy back two heroes and then just give up Rosh. It's it's too much. Ehome would be able to just use their X mark abuse and just kill the Rax, and Secret wouldn't have much of an answer. So they're looking for the last hurrah right here. This could be the last fight of the game. Already top. That's easy. Manages to bait out the fortification. So this could be a huge fight for Secret if they can win it. Puppy, looking for a stomp, unable to get a connection, but this is just creating space for RTZ to finish up the tier 3 top. Old Chicken coming along, the initial burst, RTZ jumps out and Envy tags in. Crush onto Old Chicken, crippling fear for Envy, backs away, E-Home looking to continue to chase Secret out of the base, Old Chicken jumps forward. BKB comes out from Envy, the two-man crush, BKB's coming out from the mall, but jumps in, Lasso on to 11, he has been coming through for Puppy on top 11, but the Omni slash from Ice 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 takes down two, Puppy's looking at Old 11, oh. Kill. Puppy goes for the TP out, but the X mark, the torrents there. Eho, they're gonna find themselves a fourth with this defense. Secret falling to bits. There'll be a buyback from Puppy, buyback from Artor. They know that the heat is still absolutely on for them here. They were able to kill the Night Stalker, put him down for a long, long time, but at a very, very expensive cost of themselves. God, it's such. They can't afford to be buying back like this. That's the problem. Like, these heroes don't have the money. I mean, yeah, they, they killed the Night Stalker, but the problem is all the heroes at Ehom are just so farmed. The commitment that is necessary to take down even one of them, it's just too much. They're, they're expending too many resources on taking down one hero. They need like a really big Earth Splitter, like a crush into Earth Splitter, hope that, you know, they hit three or four heroes. That's how they can win a fight, but barring that, the advantage of Ehom just seems to be... I, I mean, let's be honest, it's... It's over 25,000 gold, and it was an access of 40,000 experience at one point. They are not a little ahead. They are ridiculously far ahead. I mean, ahead. they're a lot ahead. Yeah. We can see uh, Pi is nearly uh, changing tags with Envy, as uh, he may even overtake him as the new carry. Yeah. Envy, the problem that he's having is he has to go in. 
Like, he's the hero besides the Batrider who can start fights. And his crush can set up an Echo Stomp, it can set up an Earth Splitter. He needs to be in the fight, amping heroes so, you know, Artur can deal damage. If he's not in the middle of the fight and they're just running at your Morphling, your Morphling can't just stand there. So he's he had a really hard lane, and then he's the one who's pretty much having to go in and do all this work with no items. And Ehome are all rich. I mean, hell, the, the Kunga and the Warlock have more money than the Slardar. I think everyone does. Everyone on Ehome has more money than Envy. Everyone. Yeah. So he has, like, the hardest job in the world, being the one guy who has to go in. But it's like playing clockwork when the, in a game when you're behind. You gotta go in, yes. but you're gonna die every single time you go in. Well, that's certainly been the case. So we can see everyone out worth. What are we selling off? The fact that Secret are still in <laughs> this game <laughs> is here. actually it's, insane. It's true. It is. But 35,000. Ehome have just like accrued a Scrooge McDuck level of gold advantage That's over there. There's just a vault of money that they're just swimming in right now, and Secret are living on food stamps. That's pretty much the life. I mean, if Secret can turn this around, that is, that's going to be absolutely incredible. But as you said, it's, they are, they are behind. And uh, that, that, that's an understatement. I mean, there's, there's two cheeses on Fenrir. The amount of respect given to Secret this game by Ehome says volumes about the team, I think. But they might be looking to put the final nail in the coffin here. See what kind of a jump they can get. And if they want to, or if it's going to be a case of waiting for Secret to come out themselves. At the moment. Of course, this is the fact that they've not lost a single melee rax. Only the ranged rax emit that's gone down on Secret's side. So they are able to push out these lanes and get maximum gold for it. Ice Ice Ice, he's doing his best to, to get the third lane round towards the side of Secret. And of course, there's an insane amount of gold on the Juggernaut. Dude, he has more gold that he's holding on to almost than Puppy has in items. He's not far off. Farms on our 2k gold, he's got more money just sitting I mean, there. To be, if E-Home win a, a team fight, he's probably going to have more money than uh, Envy's got overall. Yeah, probably. But you know, it's uh, it's been a rough game for the Fishman, as we've already discussed, but Ehome still just biding their time. You know, fighting into the illusions of the Morphling. I really feel like uh, having to buy Beacon... Oh my god, oh. he dies fast. Yeah. This is why they can't actually just run up willy-nilly and hit the buildings, because the amount of damage that even their most farmed hero takes is pretty insane. And there's not even MKB either, it's just like Soulcatcher plus Elder Kite Nor and Amp. You just get blasted. Just holding back Ehome. Ehome, as you said, they just... They can't fully get themselves in here. They can't wait for another road. I mean, they're they're using X right now to just get a little chicken back to the base and heal up and whatnot, but... Still not able to really just end the game. I mean, Farmer at 4k gold, he could... Uh... Even think about working towards the refreshers and having the double rocks. But as we can see, Arteezy is it the space to go out at the base now? Back towards the mid. Moonlight Shadows used, and Ice Side Side goes forward. There's a couple of hits on the Rax, and I'm easily X marked back out. The Rax is slowly but surely forming now, less than half health. Again, E Home pushing in. And Arteezy, oh. the Abyssal gets forced out. The Golden Speed dropped as well. As oh no! Oh, no oh, it. There. oh, the Force back out! And Puppy burst it. He's gonna get it low. Can he actually get any of spells up? He keeps himself alive with the with the hood, but he's gone. Oh, they've lost two now. Two heroes down on the defense. They will pop the Aegis, but they don't have buybacks available. In secret. Just Pi. RTZ and Bulba left. The fortification as well. 
They've done their best to hold on this game, but can they actually do anything more to stop E-Home's push? They've lost the middle racks. They're going to lose the top racks as well. I think this could be it, Hero. There's still a fair bit of time before the full five man's alive. Yeah, 50 seconds is too long. They need Elder Titan to get kills. Oh, and look, Fenrir's just gone all east. Just picks up the refresh. He's going to have another golem ready to drop as well. I mean, heck, he can even cheese refresher cheese if he's feeling super frisky. See, not easy. Just really trying to pummel into ice, ice, ice. Old Chicken forces him back with the E Blade spam. And they're losing the bottom rack. Jumping in, Bulba gets the grab up onto Ice Ice Ice. They're trying to finish him off. Bursting him down low. Ice Ice Ice, he's not going to fall though. Secret. Get themselves back, but that's the PKP used from Bulba, and they have now been mega creep. No one's to call GG though. Secret will stay in. Oh, they're going for bottom. This is the all in. They're just buying boots of travel. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Bulba's dead though. At the same time, they're keeping them busy. They need, to stop, they they need to stop TPs. They need to stop TPs. Ice 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 has got back. And holding them here, making sure that they get a chance to turn. Fembria with the ult. Okay, it's, it, it, it ain't Bulba. happening. It ain't happening. The dream looks to be falling apart here. They're still hanging around, but at the same time, there's a lot of a lot of pain and hurt in the base of Secret as E-Home. They're found to. And with the golems, they'll be able to take the tier four, moving for more at the bottom. They're looking to kill Ice Ice Ice. But the Omni Slash comes out in time, and Artor taken down as well. Ice Ice Ice. Just two.